Peace, I'm Lady Nature. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel for those of you who are stopping by. We love all things aesthetically pleasing. We love to see it, hear it, taste it, smell it, feel it. All the things we love it over here. I typically do lifestyle vlogs, but on occasion I like to sit down and talk to you guys about fragrances. So that's what this video is about. If you are interested in something like that, then stick around. Let's talk about it. Now when I pick a fragrance for the day or for the whatever event it is that I'm going to, I kind of ask myself, you know, what am I trying to evoke? You know what I'm saying? What side of myself? many many facets of me honey <laughs> you know what i'm saying but i want to know what what it is that i'm trying to bring across is it the fun and flirty and playful side or the innocent side of myself or is it the dark mysterious or more complex side of myself that i'm trying to you know convey now you know most fragrances are you know either fresh floral woody or spicy or sweet they have a very specific target, but you know, these days <laughs> I'm noticing that the notes are getting very complex in these fragrances. They're, they're crossing over florals with sweets and, you know, spices with florals or, <laughs> you know what I mean? They're, they're doing a lot more with the fragrance. So, so we're finding ourselves with a much more vast and sometimes complex, you know, choice to make when we're looking at these fragrances or smelling these fragrances. Then there's the mixing. You know, we mix fragrances together. We mix body creams and body lotions, body oils, um, soaps. Please, let's, let's use the soap. <laughs> let's start with the soap, right? <laughs> Whatever your approach is, you wanna make sure that you're looking at the notes in the fragrance so that you're not necessarily clashing, you know what I mean? You don't want a, a tart, mm, sometimes it can work. I was gonna say you don't want a tart fragrance to clash with something that's sweet or maybe a rosy, a sharp rosy fra uh, fragrance note might clash with something sweet. Sometimes it doesn't work out, you know? You just gotta kinda play with fragrances and. I like to look at the notes and fragrance and see what it actually is gonna get, what it's giving, what it's you know layered with in order to see how it's gonna sit on my skin. Some things don't necessarily smell too good on me or maybe it may not last on me or maybe I use a certain type of deodorant or a body cream or something like that that it may clash with. So it's, it's a good idea to pay attention to the notes. I was talking to my cousin yesterday and she was like, what's a note? You know, so I thought I'd just go ahead and say that. So for the most part, I would have to say I like probably more of a sweet fragrance. Gourmand is what they call it in the fragrance world. I like more of a gourmand fragrance. Um, but don't hold me to it. Don't, don't hold me to it because I like complex fragrances. I like probably a mixture. Cause like when they put the, the woods in there, Oh, that's very sultry to me, <laughs> you know? And when they put the the fruits, sometimes like a black cherry that has a very deep fragrance to it, that kind of bumps a fragrance up. So there are certain sweet notes that can get kind of deep that make a fragrance pretty sultry. So you just kind of gotta watch out for what you like. I like sweet. I don't typically like floral. I used to say I'm, I just don't like florals, but like even in what I'm gonna show you today, there's a floral fragrance that has my attention, so. Another thing is most people like to spray their fragrances on their pulse points. You know, you hear, hear spray it behind your ears, um, on your wrist, uh, in the, bends of your arms, you know, you hear that kind of thing. But I used to say spray your fragrances where your body heats up, wherever your body gives off heat, spray that. And that's still true. I still do that. I'm really an oversprayer, so <laughs> I spray everywhere, but I definitely try to spray in the spots where my body gives off heat. But, and, and that's for a punch, you know, when you want to give a punch, but there's 
it's also said that you should spray like on your cool points of your body, like your shoulders or the outsides of your arms or your sides, the places that don't give off heat because it won't burn off as fast. You know, when it's your body is heating it up, it kind of makes it work and it definitely projects better that way. So do that as well, but also on the cool parts of your body. Okay, the first fragrance I'm gonna talk about is Chillin' Soleil by Bulgari, and this is part of their Allegra line. This fragrance is very citric, but it's also got a floral accord to it that is, so it takes away the sharpness of the citruses because it has a pretty heavy lemon and orange blossom essence to it. And then there, the Neroli, which also has a little bit of citrus in it, but it's it's kind of a blend of florals, different florals and greens, as well as citruses. So this is pretty pungent. I sprayed this on my hand earlier. And then on this paper, I get more of the citrus. So it definitely comes across more citrus on the paper than it does on my skin. The, I would say that the floral in it, which I don't typically like floral, but I would say that the floral is doing it a favor as far as taking down that sharpness of the citrus. Did I call it chill and soleil? <laughs> it's really chill and soul. There's no accent mark up there. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I want it to be chill and soleil, but it's chill and soul by Bulgari and it's part of the Allegra line. The next fragrance I wanna share with you guys is this Dom Rosa Melissime. Dom Rosa Melissime. So there are two Dom Rosas. This one has a champagne, a synthetic champagne note, and the other one has a synthetic wine note. I think this one costs more than the other one. The Melissime costs more in in Neiman's it definitely did. Now this Dom Rosa Melissa May is tricky. It's tricky. Um, on paper, I definitely smell the booziness of it, the champagne, the synthetic champagne note. They body that. They got that. You know, when you have to make a note, <laughs> it should definitely be very reminiscent of the thing that you're trying to copy. But yes, this this definitely gives champagne. But this fragrance has champagne, pomelo, um, and pear in the opening. Damask rose, olibanum, and cloves are in the mid the middle of it, the heart of it. Then woody notes, vetiver, guaiacwood, and cedars are in the base. So this is one that I would definitely try on skin because it smells so much different on my skin than it does on this paper. I'm smelling a lot of the woods. It's drying down faster and I'm smelling a lot of the woods in on the paper. But on my skin, I get more of the rose, but it's not, I thought this would have vanilla in it because it's more of a creamy rose. It's not a sharp rose, which typically makes me not like a rose fragrance. If it is a sharp rose, I don't really, you know, vibe with it too much because I don't like that, the sharpness or the tartness of the rose. Now the pear in the opening kind of gives it more of a sweet, you know, it makes it lean more sweet as well. But then the Damask Rose, Damask Rose has a little bit of a sweetness to it. It's like sweet and slightly spicy. And then the Alibanum or Alibanum, I, I don't know how to say it, but it's described as being peppery and earthy and slightly smoky. And I'm smelling that on this paper in the dry down on this paper, I'm smelling a lot of the smokiness. So this this fragrance, I would say that I would wear it when I'm dressed up <laughs> and I'm going somewhere, you know, special, a special occasion kind of fragrance because it's not 
Um, it's, it's very different. It's very complex. If you are ever in a store where you can get your nose on it, kind of spray it on your skin. I would just always, I, these kind of help and they, you know, they typically spray the paper and give it to you and let you smell it and you fall in love with it and then you put it on your skin and it does something totally different. <laughs> You know, so I would always say spray it on your skin, walk around, let it dry down. Don't do this thing here or this there. Don't do that. Let it develop on your skin and you see what it's going to do before you actually, you know, make an assessment of the fragrance because it's got to go through the whole process of the top notes, mid notes and the base notes in order for you to know what it's going to smell like on you. Um, I wore this one time and um, I actually wore it to bed and then I wore it the next day. I put some more on the next day and it definitely smelled good and the longevity was just okay. It was just okay. It doesn't, I don't think, this is by Lakeed Imagineers. Uh, Lakeed's Imagineers, this is typically they have a high oil concentration and that helps when you have a high um, oil concentration, it helps for it to last. And it also helps when you have oil in your skin. You know, when you put oil down or a base layer down in your skin, if you have really dry skin, then your fragrance is not gonna last long. So if you have oily skin or well hydrated skin, then it typically lasts better. I would definitely say I like this fragrance, I just, wouldn't wear it like as an everyday fragrance. Yeah, special occasion worthy for sure. Now from the same house, we got my girl Blanche Bet from Lakeeds Imagineers. This is so different. It's so different than anything that I've ever smelled. Like I smell this even when I'm not wearing it. The top notes are milk, <laughs> milk, yes milk and bread mystical the middle notes are tuberose mahonio jasmine and incense then the base notes are vanilla tonka bean cacao and musk but all that being said this fragrance is strictly lactonic to me i mean the milk is something i definitely smell it's very very creamy you know what it smells like, and I think I may have said this before, it smells like strawberry quick taste to me. So if you have, a, you know, or a bowl of like um, crunch berries and you kind of just drink the milk afterwards, how that tastes, that's what this, this fragrance puts me in mind of, but in such a more beautiful way, it's not even though that sounds very um, juvenile, it's not a juvenile fragrance at all. Blanche Bet. Mm, this this is very um, sexy. I got a good dent going in this. Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments on it. Like it's such a different kind of fragrance, you know. And that's what I'm looking for. Those to fill the holes in my fragrance collection is something that I can wear that's different from what I have. We typically tend to lean more towards what we have or what we know we like, but you know, then you have a whole bunch of fragrances that smell alike. So <laughs> I'm trying to broaden my, my collection a little bit to give me more choices. Now you guys have heard me talk about Bon Bon Pop from the House of Ooh, this this pairs with some of my, my heavy hitters. I put this with Le Labo's Te Noir 29. I put this with um, MFK's Gentle Fluidity Gold. And then mostly I wear this with, I can wear it by itself now. I'm, I'm just telling you what I mix it with because I'm trying to hold on to it. Because when, when I got it, I got it from the scent room and they were no longer selling the House of Oud anymore. And so I was like, dang, how am I gonna find it? But I found it on soavantgarde.com, but I didn't purchase a new bottle. I'm gonna tell you guys why in a minute. This, I can't see the juice in here. I can't see how much I have, but I typically mix this one because I'm trying to preserve it. It's so good. 
this bon bon pop is so good. What I was doing was making a thumbnail for one of, I think my last fragrance video. And I was looking for, I had this on there already because it's just so beautiful. You know, the, the florals and the black and white, this is like a very alluring bottle, right? So I was looking for another fragrance to put in my thumbnail and I ran across this one. <laughs> just as alluring, just as dope. And then I'm like, oh, that's so pretty. I wonder what it smells like. So I went to Fragrantica and looked up the notes in it and listen, the first thing they said was lipstick. And I'm like, mm, I don't think I smell the fragrance with lipstick in it, but that was very captivating to me that they would put lip, a lipstick note in the fragrance. I don't know if it's a synthetic note or if they some kind of way use lipstick, but it's very prominent in this fragrance. It is so, I smell it throughout the opening and the end. Let me tell you what the notes are because the notes are what got me. So this one has wild strawberry, black cherry and champagne in the, in the top. Then in the middle notes, there's lipstick, rose and jasmine. I don't smell the rose and maybe I smell the jasmine just a little bit, a little bit of floral in there. The base notes are vanilla, yes, cedarwood, benzoin, and creamy musk. Creamy musk definitely and the vanilla because I definitely smell the, the um, creamy vibe that it gives. Now for the opening, I definitely smell on paper, I smell the wild strawberry and the black cherry. On my skin, I smell it, but it doesn't last long at all. Um, the, it says that the, the opening has wild strawberry, black cherry, and champagne. I don't get the champagne so much on paper, but I do get it when I spray it on my skin. I, the the cherry and the the black cherry and the wild strawberry I don't the fruitiness I don't get the fruitiness so much as I do the lipstick on my skin the lipstick although it's not supposed to play in into the middle I smell it right away and I love it I didn't know that I was gonna love a lipstick fragrance like I do so if I if I smell it if, if I run across anything else that has uh, lipstick in it I'm definitely gonna put my nose to it because I love the way it's it's playing in this guilty crush now to me on my skin did I put anything there I didn't put anything there to me on my skin this guilty crush like I said it's the lipstick and the vanilla and maybe the creamy musk that's coming through on me because listen baby this is like This is like heavenly. This is the true gourmand lover's friend. <laughs> this right here. Okay, maybe a hint of the champagne, the booziness I'm getting. But something smells powdery in here too to me. Like a powdery lipstick with champagne but it's not like an effervescent or fizzy champagne it's just it kind of lays to the back that champagne so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did leave me a thumbs up don't forget to interact with me let me know what you think if you might try one of these or maybe if you have them and what you think about them also if you don't mind just drop down in the comments your scent of the day what are you wearing today if you're gonna get dressed up today tell me what you're thinking about wearing all right <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please, please, please just don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you see fit, you know, if you feel led, subscribe to my channel and let me know what you guys think. Um, become a sweet, sweet, you know? Become a sweet, sweet. Why not? We have a, a time over here. We're, we're a vibe. We, we have fun. Okay, sweet, sweets. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.